super peaceful day. Some days I get really lucky and I get to work in a place like this. And, oh, it, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Today's job was interesting because the insurance companies in a lot of the fire areas, uh, 95033, many companies are stating cut all the branches off and away from the houses. Otherwise, we'll cancel your insurance. It's always a good idea to do a root crown excavation um, if you're questioning the potential stability of a tree. This uh, black oak's got this pretty significant lean on it. And it goes up through this madrone and it has a target of the corner of the house. So what I'm looking at here is it, it appears that the whole tree has shifted a little bit. There's an injury here from some time along the guy with an unknown um, unknown amount of decay or what have you going on in there. This, the bark just peeled off. There's some fungus developing down here. It's reasonably sound, but there is some decay in there. And I came over to this side and pulled out a big pocket in here. And it goes in quite a ways. And it goes underneath that root right there. So I don't see any compromise in there. It's just, uh, it, it just feels like the tree has pulled out of the ground and, and bent up because this this goes all the way through. No, no, it doesn't. It just goes under. It looks like there might be a little bit of decay underneath that root, which is a real critical root. Let's see what we got on the other side. It does look like the grade has been raised a little bit. Well, the job is to get everything away from the house because these people's insurance company has given them to the end of the month to get all the branches off that are hanging over the roof, off of the roof, otherwise they're going to cancel their insurance. And we're in a fire area up here and the insurance companies are being real jerks. You know, they're making it really impossible for people to keep up their homes without unrealistic um, tree pruning requirements. And in many cases, there's a lot of uh, insurance companies that are just out and out said no more. I won't, uh, and, and they're canceling, they're just canceling people. So their first company that they were with for, for 40 years, I'd like to say who it is, but it's one of the big companies. They just said, sorry, Charlie, no more. So they found another company, but then they came back to the stipulation that all these branches that are hanging over the roof have got to come back. It's probably not a bad idea with the lean on the tree regardless, so I'm going to get up there and do what I can do. I've already done it to that one over there. You've got the madrone. The madrone's a better tree. I think I'm going to make a bunch of big hard cuts up there and get it off there, resolve their issues so they get their insurance coverage and then advise them to strongly get rid of this tree based upon multiple issues. One big one is the species. It's a black oak, you know, Quercus kelligai, and that's one of the trees that we have up here in the mountains that are recognized for tree failures. I was able to tuck my small bucket in here to get this stuff over here, but frankly this feels just like uh, line clearing. I mean it looks like hell. But uh, they had to have five feet of clearance and nothing ho overhanging the roof. So around the corner, it's okay. That's all clear. But we got a lot of blue sky up there now. And I, I took a before and after picture to include in the report. Now that, that's another stipulation. They have a requirement to have an arborist report stating that it was done and showing proof that uh, it's not hanging over the roof anymore. So this is the tree that I did the root crown inspection on and I decided that it was reasonably sound so I climbed up there 
uh, had a lot of limbs to rope off. Sorry, I didn't get any action shots here. There's before and after on that limb. You got it. Uh, I had one guy helping me on this job, one of my guys, and I uh, was doing a lot of fine roping work, so I really didn't uh, have the time to take the camera out. Um, so I cut that off, then cleaned up all the stubs. I took off about five Good or far. six limbs that size. Uh, and I wanted to show this because there was a lot of rubbing on the madrone from the, the black oak. There was a lot of branches that were just scraped off. Uh, I love working in the mountains. They're nice and peaceful and quiet.